awesome that people are even willing to listen to other participants. That's very encouraging. Excuse me, can I show you a real quick magic trick? Uh, I'm gonna print out a card from my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you. Do you believe I can do that? Give you this card? Uh, I think so. Nothing in this hand? Yeah. Nothing in this hand. It's for you. You sure it wasn't under there? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Let me, let me check your eyes, okay? See those three triangles? Uh, Read the triangles out loud. Paris in the spring. Bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. Let me show you how easily I can deceive you. It doesn't say any of those things. The first one says Paris in the, the spring. Take a look. Paris, read slowly. Paris, Paris in, in the spring. No. The, the, see the two thes? The, the. Oh. Bird in the, the hand, once in a, a lifetime. Do you see it now? Yes. See how frail we are, how easily we're deceived? Let me show you another way you might be being deceived. Do you see yourself as a good person? Uh, yes. Have you ever told a lie, ever? Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? Liar. So what are you? A liar. Have you ever taken something that does not belong to you, ever? Yeah. What do you call people who steal? Uh, stealer. A thief. A thief. So what does that make you? A thief. A lying thief. A thief. If you, so is a lying thief the definition of a good person? If you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Should God let guilty people into heaven? No, you're in trouble, right? You acknowledge that. But what did God do to forgive you and save you? He did something special because He loves you. What did He do for you? He gave life. Be beyond that. He died on the cross for you. He allowed Himself to be punished for your sins and my sins. Yeah. Okay? If you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus, all your sins are forgiven. Did you know that's how to go to heaven? Really? Yeah, Here, here's what Jesus said. For God so loved the world. What's your first name? Andre. For God so loved Andre yeah. that he gave Jesus. That if Andre would believe in Jesus, Andre wouldn't have to go to hell, but he can go to heaven. That's John 3.16 with your name inserted into it. Really? Do you believe that? Do you believe that faith in Jesus can save you? Did you know how to go to heaven before I walked up to you? A little bit. But not quite. Now that you know, do you want to commit to, to believing in and obeying Jesus for the rest of eternity? Can I pray for you? Three quick questions, four quick questions. Do you believe you broke God's law and sinned against Him? Do you believe Jesus died for your sins? Do you believe that Jesus rose on the third day? Do you commit to obey and believe Jesus for the rest of eternity? Heavenly Father, Lord, please receive Andre. Please save him by the power of your gospel and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Little prayers don't save anybody. But if in that moment you've committed to obeying and believing in Jesus for the, forever, you're saved. And the way you know you're saved is you continue to believe and God starts to change you into a new person, more and more like Jesus every day. Faith and continuing growth in Jesus, okay? Yeah. That's how you know. Do you live around here? No, I don't. What city do you live in? Find you, there, there are some resources in here, okay? There are good churches that... Do you already go to a church? Yeah. Serve Jesus at a church. Continue reading His Word. Continue growing, obeying, okay? And my name is Tony. My email's in there. If you have any questions, email me. Right. Let me know how I can help. God bless you. Andre, let me just add. <clears throat> my name is Scott, by the way. You, know, you might not be completely sure about everything that, that you heard uh, Tony said, but one thing that we can all be sure about in life is that one day we're going to die, right? People, even atheists, can't argue with us on that point. Everybody knows that one day we're going to die. And we don't know when that day is, right? It could be tomorrow, it could be today, it could be five years, 20 years, 50 years. We just don't know. So the Bible says that we have an eternal soul that lives on after death. And so there's only two destinations, right? But we don't have to be in heaven or hell. Bible says that it's appointed once for man to die and then the judgment. So that this life is not all there is. There will be a judgment afterwards. So it's very serious. What you heard him say, very, very serious. Take it to heart and, uh, and just remember that, okay? Thank you so much, Andre. God bless you.